hankering for a thick hunk of ham, looking to feast on some farm fresh chops, or craving a killer Kahlua pork. You're about to embark on the ultimate hog holiday. It's like heaven on a bun or something like that. We just love it. That's good stuff. Mm, I might need some privacy. Get set to pig out on pork sign perfection because we're taking you to pork paradise. Ham, pork chops, bacon, sausage. It's hard to believe so much goodness can all come from the same animal. Yummy. Pork is the renaissance man of the meat world. And though some may call it the other white meat, the pig simply won't be outdone. More people eat pork than any other protein on the planet. Each year, nearly 21 billion pounds of this savory sensation are processed in the United States alone. For anyone who's ever said, when pigs fly, that time is now. Why do Americans love pork so much? Because the more fat involved, the more delicious it is. You've got a mouthful. <laughs> is Huntington, Indiana. This town is known for inventing one of the biggest, juiciest, crispiest, most pigtastic meals ever slapped on a bun. The breaded pork tenderloin sandwich. People come from all over America just to get a bite of this meaty meal. And they get the original right here at the oldest restaurant in Huntington, Nick's Kitchen. Welcome to Nick's Kitchen in Huntington, Indiana. Nick's Kitchen is known for its breaded pork tenderloin. We sell lots of breaded pork tenderloins every day. People come from all over the United States to have them. You come to Huntington, you eat at Nick's. I'm not even from Huntington. I only come to Huntington to eat at Nick's Kitchen. For the pork uh, tenderloin sandwich, it's like heaven on a bun or something like that. We just love it. We came all the way from Delaware. These are always on our agenda. And they deep fry it, which is really bad, but it is really good. <laughs> The Huntington people have voted our breaded pork tenderloin is the best for the last three years, and that's as long as they've been doing the poll, so we've got it. <laughs> Jean Ann Bailey makes her breaded pork tenderloins the same way they were done by original owner Nick Frienstein back in 1904. It all starts with a four-ounce pork loin cut specially for Nick's. The pork is a center-cut pork loin, and that is the most lean pork. <laughs> The first secret to making Nick's famous pork sandwich is how they treat their meat. Every morning, Jean Ann uses a mallet to prep the fresh pork patties. A technique she's perfected over a lifetime of making these sandwiches. My father and mother bought the restaurant in 1969. I was washing dishes, pounding tenderloins when I was 10 years old. After a good pounding, the pork loin takes a dip in Nick's signature marinade. A combination of buttermilk, eggs, and flour. Then we bread it in saltine cracker crumbs, and then we deep fry it. Once the tenderloin is golden brown and crunchy, it's layered with onions, lettuce, and tomatoes on a five-inch bun. You can fly straight to pork paradise on these meat wings. And you food. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Is this what I should be eating as a trainer at the YMCA? <laughs> The slogan is bet you need both hands because the sandwich is so big. Oh, they weren't kidding when they said you would need two hands. It was just the best tenderloin I've ever had. Tenderloin is crispy on the outside and it's got a really nice rich pork flavor on the inside. I come out with the mini. I obviously don't need the large one because they're huge. I throw a little coleslaw on because I like slaw on my sandwiches. So that just gives it the extra touch. It is extremely juicy. Never heard of Nick's famous pork tenderloin sandwich. Passersby can't resist walking into Nick's kitchen once they get a whiff of what's cooking. When you walk into Nick's, the first thing that you smell is the bacon cooking. It's awesome. We used to have it cooking most of the day. And people have told us that we need to bottle that smell of that bacon and we could make a million. The locals all say no meal at Nick's is complete without a frosty hand-dipped milkshake or a slice of Jean Ann's famous sugar cream pie. 
an irresistible blend of butter, sugar, and cream, topped with a sprinkle of cinnamon. Genius, that makes the best sugar cream pie. The milkshakes are phenomenal. I'm a sweet girl. I like the sweet. I like the sweet. <laughs> is serving up a taste of America's rich pork history with every sandwich served. Another restaurant tried to compete with Nick's Kitchen, but they just can't. This is the best of the best. I've been told many times that Nick's is an institution. The bread and pork tenderloin sandwich has been famous for so long that obviously we are a pork lover's paradise. Two hands to eat lunch, dinner, or even dessert. No matter how you like it, the swine is divine. Pork is amazing because of its versatility. Americans love their pork. They love the tenderloins, they love the bacon, they love the ham. It's awesome. Everybody loves pork. I mean, why wouldn't you love pork? I think a lot of people really love pork because it has a nostalgia to it. It's just great. It makes everybody happy. That's what the pork is all about. It's good for the body and the soul. There you go.